when you talk about npnm non local non temporal universal memory layers etc it is hard to understand because it is neither mental or physical so where is it situated first thing it is a theory don't try to find it in your experience you can find the evidence of it in your experience there is a purpose behind calling it non physical non um, local and everything because i don't want you to find it i want you to assume it it is an assumption it is a theory now as soon as you have this theory that there is something like this a vibration that is non physical non mental and they, they, it is arranged in semi permanent memory and the memory is arranged in structures now it is a very good model to explain your experience the experience part can be explained and i think only the experience part needs to be explained experiencer cannot be explained you are that and how will you know the experience part by forming a scientific theory this is not true there is nothing npnm do not try to find it do not try of trying try to find its situation location you will never find it it is a tool to understand what we are experiencing and believe me this is the big finest theory this is the best it is here since many thousand years since the beginning it is here it is universal that means not from earth it is not from earth we were taught these things and it is the final that it is a virtual stage where these cloud like figures they come and go including this human body whatever you call is me they are totally illusory and then the illusion needs to be explained now why it is the way it is because so many rules are there such a interesting illusion it is not a boring random dream of some kind for that you need theories and as you know physical sciences are a part of path of knowledge physical science is a branch of path of knowledge so they adopt the same thing theory hypothesis experiment and logic mathematics but they have limited themselves probably due to the limitation of the explorer himself there is no desire in them to explore the wider illusion they stick to whatever can be seen with their eyes and instruments and there also a tremendous progress has been made like this a divide and conquer so one person is engaged in physical world second is engaged in the mind and the third is going beyond mind in the higher layers so exploration is complete in parts and this these models they help us they anchor the intellect otherwise the intellect is nothing to know really it will never know anything so hopefully aishman got his doubt cleared grams question i've learned from teachers who recommended rupert spira sadguru jim newman but i listened to tom gamble video post and found it contradicted things i learned from on pioge for example he says time and free will are fundamental necessary elements in consciousness so i think i missed something what did you hope we would find in it well you see he is probably one of the biggest masters alive tom campbell i consider him as my guru actually i i talked to him and i i served him whatever i could do i did for him so many of the things that you are learning in pok actually coming from campbell many the concept of non physical evolution who has taught this in the history what do you know you know only darwinian evolution or or in, in in india we know the concept of yonis he is the one who for the first time i think i heard from him about the information evolution the patterns evolving to form complex entities actually this is one example and all that science that we discuss in the path of knowledge program i think 70% of it comes from tom he is ground breaking there is no doubt about it even his guru is not so clear as tom campbell you know who is his guru very famous occult practitioner munro he is not that clear i've read his books and mostly dreamy stuff going on there and in the end he actually he lost it most of the time i i saw that he got like infected with the occult but this fellow is still very very bright so you found it contradicting no problem at all 
what what does he say that i have a model i have a theory he never says i know the truth never says like this sometimes he says but you need to see it in the context he says i have a theory that give me consciousness which is the most fundamental here there he is perfectly right give me consciousness give me time and give me free will and i i, I can explain everything from the electron proton to love and emotions <laughs> and uh, cooperation how the kings and politicians behave how the economy behaves you will find he has d- actually done this he, he says give me these three things i'll explain everything that's why it is called theory of everything t o e my big theory of everything my big to everybody should read these three books which he has published and they are free you see when i saw this great person giving everything freely there is a root there is a cause of everything isn't it so why everything is free in our program why everything is free in our videos and content why there is some influence this kind of influence actually so we we see that you know all our great masters they have given everything freely i mean how much money gautam buddha was charging for <laughs> discourses <laughs> how much actually i have seen that uh, uh, these um, masters even in this today's world where everybody is greedy for money they are giving the essential things freely then the non essential vip material is sold for very high value like rupert spira now you just need to go to his channel watch everything you will get whatever he knows you know you will get 100% of it free of charge but he still charges a lot for his sessions that much i have heard from people in london <laughs> that is not easy to get into his session you need to be rich so why is that on one side they charge the other side they are giving it away there has to be reason i found you know who from whomever i learned i found this kind of thing and again this thing is beyond our boxed intellect <laughs> and sometimes i find you know i have given some money to some gurus and when this kind of courses are attended i attended and the material was kind of not worth it you pay 25000 and then you are expecting that kind of quality whatever you are expecting i don't know what will what is the expectation of people i don't know but uh, almost nothing was given in, for that prize yes you got to ask your own personal questions to the guru and all but uh, you see as soon as that fellow answered you thought my money is wasted <laughs> they did not answer anything special this is my whole life's experience actually money does not buy knowledge it buys you five star ashram that's all <laughs> good food your room will be cleaned and so on you can stay for free in any ashram in india actually but then you will need to do the work so this is the thing you see there are influences so there's a lot of influence of tom campbell on my own understanding and he is very good at explaining how the illusion part works that he has figured it out totally like you can say that is a complete theory and like he says i can explain physical i explain non physical metaphysical all the religions in the world all the philosophies all the physics chemistry biology he has answers for everything how is that possible you will say when when his fundamentals are wrong how is that possible why because you see there is nothing fundamental in the illusion only models can be made how we have made the model of the vibration vibrating patterns and all is it really there do you think it is right model no just beautiful model in science nothing is right nothing is true it is either very beautiful or very satisfactory or very useful we use it tom never says that i am going to tell you the truth he clearly says it is an illusion he cannot even pronounce maya but he knows what the advait people are saying he knows it very clearly he has seen it everything you know it is experiential not scriptural so he does not know any words from scriptures but whenever he talks it resembles you know it is exactly like all the eastern philosophies so when i met him i mean online only <laughs> i could not meet him he was in delhi for 3 days 
two or three years ago. I, I thought of it, but I did not go there. First thing I told him that look, you are my guru, and whatever you say is not new. It is many thousand years old. But you say in such a way that finally I can understand what these people said. So his model of virtual reality and our, our model of dream, isn't it? So. I think Graham needs to study these philosophers in depth. Shallow study, not going to make anything in depth. Read the book, meet the fellow. <laughs> I never had the courage to tell him that. Look, sir, your time, your assumption of time is wrong. I know what he will say. Yes, it is wrong. You see, even I talk in his tone sometimes. He says, "Make your own big toe. Don't follow me." experiment like in the interview today in this video he said i have done this for 35 years i can't even imagine spending 35 years in a sleep lab they used to do nothing but sleep can you imagine this much dedication in that fellow they used to put on the binary beats whatever you call it they used to go to sleep what did they do there they tried to find even the smallest evidence who has this dedication You want to be in the non-physical projected state in in three days, <laughs> and this fellow worked on third for thirty years. Not only he found the evidence, he has produced very good work, monumental, so very inspiring people. And this other fellow is also bright, Bernardo. They are both in my list of recommended teachers. Yes, so Bernardo is like. what do you say revolting fellow there is a video of him somewhere it is shown i don't know in some of the interviews or where these people who are granting him the phd they got irritated <laughs> because he is hitting at the roots of the science when he said materialism is baloney or whatever is garbage the, the people who were questioning him on phd there is some tradition there that you know questions are asked when they are granting the phd they got irritated <laughs> at him his thesis was very bitter so these are my ideals you see heretical yeah very nice yeah very very correct word he is heretic for the science people what has science become like a religion isn't it he he said in the interview that Finally, I understood that the consciousness cannot be computed, or consciousness cannot be um, explained in terms of measurements of any kinds. Now, that is a big statement coming from a PhD, from coming from the religious institutes of science. So these people, they they make the science progress. Actually, these blind believers of books of physics, they will never contribute anything to knowledge. Never. Okay, Graham is saying, but is the POK model different in that there is a non-temporal field of possibilities, and that all things are contained there? So without cause and effect, choice or time, we get everything. Yes, and the POK now marries Buddhism with my big toe, and we can explain that which is beyond time. But don't tell him; <laughs> he is the guru. I never had the courage to tell him that we can go beyond what you are you are saying. Actually, there was a dialogue between Rupert Spire and Tom Campbell, which I posted already. You can find it somewhere in the podcast of Rupert Spire. There is a discussion between him and Rupert, and Rupert is trying to can tell him, look, Advait, and he does not get it. Tom does not get it. he is so good at what he is doing that he has no concern about what is beyond this computational model he says i can explain everything actually he does but he is reluctant to look behind i don't know why graham is saying i think you surpass this guru of yours actually i wish i could we take from many that is how we surpass and the thing is we come back to the old because it is all discovered long ago the knowledge is always old nothing new can be discovered uh, yes new uh, formats can be given to the old new bottle old wine actually i'll tell you something interesting that this 
थ्री डे प्रोग्राम वॉज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ माई अटेम्प्ट टू टीच दिज एम बी टी क्राउड अबाउट नॉन डुअलिटी इट वॉज अ सेवन डे प्रोग्राम इन द बिगनिंग सेवन डे प्रोग्राम वेर आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन एम बी टी फ्रॉम द नॉन डुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सम पीपल रिसीव इट एक्चुअली एंड देवर अमेज दैट यू नो देर देर इज मच मोर बियॉन्ड दिस वट टॉम कैम्बल सेड but uh, then it failed and uh, it, then it was reduced to 3 day and the 3 day program was more successful the 7 day was too much everything has a story behind it isn't it so in this our pog program also has a story in that uh, in that 7 day program i asked people to write down what was told and the, the final document it was documented and the final document was not given till the last day they were they were told write down what i said and you see the same technique is used now in pok i say something in the video and then you are asked to write down probably that was the cause of its failure because people could not write down anything <laughs> it is difficult isn't it even from the video i think people must be struggling what what did he say and then you rewind why did he say that something like this must be happening but some people i know they simply absorb everything yes this is also right yeah that is also right this is obvious these people are made for the path of path of knowledge this goes so smoothly Just look at this you know there's so much knowledge out there it is all free is for everybody to take what are you paying for and why are you waiting for somebody to come and give you the knowledge it's all already distributed widely you need to be hungry isn't it if you are not hungry you will never see all these things so imagine what will happen after 10 years or 20 years the whole of the path of knowledge the advait and all the buddhism and all the philosophies they, they will be the dominating ones so we we are putting a seed of that kind that you see i am encouraging people to express express in any way you can you are good in writing okay write you are good in speaking okay speak your face is beautiful <laughs> and people want to watch your videos yes do that if you are good for nothing you see do the 3d program <laughs> so it's uh, something we are starting it will blow up one day that is my expectation then i can retire